which just been released yesterday, that the creepy text message story are back. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty much at my wits end with this. Because based off of the last text messages story, there have already been three people that has been missing. This is getting to be a bit ridiculous, guys. These are babies we're talking about here. Babies that have went missing. As we did in the last previous videos, we're going to dissect every single last one of these text messages and see how the story unfolds. And also, I'd like to give a shout out to Don't Turn Around for making these text messages possible. I'll leave all his information in the link below. So as we did before, let's roll the tape. Waiting for bus to school. What's up with this music? Why am I always the first to text in a group chat? Early squad. Thank you for the wake up ping. Oh my God, last day of school. So excited. Man, I know that feel. The last day of school, that's a beautiful feeling. You know, the only thing you look forward to is staying up late at night, talking to your friends on the phone all night, going to the pool, bike rides, having water fights. Man, that brings back memories for me. Good old days. Seven hours of school and free. No more evil Mrs. Laney. Langley. Bus is running late. I'm not on it. You are my bus buddy. My mom says no more buses. Sorry, Caitlin. Now that I think about it, I remember I used to have bus buddies and they used to sit next to you and you talk to. Then I remember there was other kids that wanted to sit next to you that were annoying. Like for instance, somebody comes to you like, hey, Kev, 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 Kev. What do you want, Joshua? Hey, want to see a new cool trick that I learned? Look, man, I can walk and chew gum at the same exact time. Wow. Guess what, Joshua? I don't care. See, stuff like that. My mom says no more buses. Sorry, Caitlin. Question mark. I wouldn't want to take the bus to school either. My mom is so scared about this missing kids. I can see the bus coming around the corner. I hope you're joking and really on the bus. Nah, she wasn't joking. She said as today, the last day of school, they might try to snatch more kids. Yeah, that is true, the last day of school. Oh my God, I'll be the only one on the bus? You might not, she might not want to get on the bus. Sad face. Hi, who's this creepy looking boy? Sucks. Dad already went to work and he'll ground me if I don't get on. I'm pretty sure her father would not be mad if she didn't get on the bus if he knew that kids are being snatched up. That's inevitable, like, come on. You're safe, they don't snatch kids on the way to school, just after school. If the driver looks creepy, don't get on. Girls are such chickens, now the little boy, whoever this little boy is egging them on. Don't get on it. It's here, doors are opening. I hope she doesn't get on this bus. Not getting on, thank God. Because it's like, we got too many kids that's been taken away from the last video. Phew. Driver says I must get on. So what? Don't get on. Like she said, no, you don't. Be careful. Is it the usual driver? On bus, oh my God. Now they just got done warning her, telling her, do not get on the bus. They, all the clues and signs are there. And she said that she wasn't going to get on the bus and you just defeated the purpose and you get on the bus. Why? Why would you do that? No. What happened? Oh my God. Why? Right. Why? Why would she do that? It's okay, don't worry. No, they got every reason to worry. Question mark. I'll call 911. No. Mrs. Langley is here. Okay, maybe the teacher is there on the bus with them. Langley? World's evilest teacher. I wonder what they don't like about this teacher. Oh, so safe now. She was already on the bus. Okay, so she was on the bus. So there's a there's an adult slash teacher on the bus, so it shouldn't be that bad. 
she yelled, I should get on. So it was her that yelled that you should get on the, that she should get on the bus. Huh? She's an evil kidnapper. This little boy must really don't like this teacher. Uh, dead face, surprise face. Tell my annoying bro to quit it. Okay, so whoever this person is, that's her brother. Okay. I don't take orders from Rabbit. I see he's a little smart aleck. She says she's riding the bus to make kids feel safe. Well, that's a nice gesture. She is mean. She's okay. She makes you do homework. That's why people hate her. What? Like, so your reasoning behind not liking the teacher is she makes you guys do homework? So does that mean that you hate every teacher? Because that's not a valid reason to hate a teacher. That makes no sense to me. But, okay. Ugh, window won't open up. I need air. We'll get car sick. <laughs> Bus sick? He likes the egg and be the be the smart one out of the uh, smart Alec out of everybody. None of the windows were open. Weird. Funny rusty hole near back. Is it shorter than a normal bus? You are not funny. You didn't answer. I mean, the, whoever this kid is, he got a point to ask that question because in the previous video, all the creepy bus that were taken that was smaller than a normal bus. So. It says here that no, this is a normal bus. So she it looks like she's she's good. Then that's not the creepy bus. Right, exactly what I said. Oh my god. What? Bus stopped hard. Uh-oh, what happened? Why? Mr. Warren got on. Who's Mr. Warren? Who's Mr. Warren? Same thing I asked. The new P.E. teacher. Okay, so they got more teachers. Everybody getting on this bus. He's cute. Really? Hoppy? What does that mean? Hoppy. He stepped in front of the bus to stop it. Oh, snap. Why did he do that? Why call him Hoppy? Teacher's crush. He's on, He only has one leg. <laughs> Yo, that's bogus. Yo. <laughs> So they call him Hoppy because he only has one leg. So he just, and why would you do that? Like y'all making fun of a dude that got one leg and y'all call him Hoppy. That's, that's kind of dirty. Funny at the same time, but that's dirty. Question mark. He uses crutches. Don't call him Hoppy mean. Right, that's bogus. Like why would you do that? He's sitting next to Langley. Okay, yuck. They're talking. Hmm. What are they saying? That she gives way too much homework? He's asking her where she's from and stuff. Uh-oh, is Mr. Warren over here getting in the game? Trying to J down on Miss Langley and get her digits? No, he may got one leg. That ain't gonna stop him from getting in the game. I don't blame him. Yuck. I want to throw up. <laughs> How close are you to Highland Park? About five minutes away. Are you scared? I'm so glad I walked to school. Why should I be scared? Uh, because you're on the bus where kids are missing and going missing in Highland Park? Okay, truth, I'm a little scared. All right, this, this is the crazy thing that doesn't make any sense to me. She's talking about she's scared, but she had every opportunity to not get on the bus, but she chose to get on the bus. So could have just called her one of her parents and, and told her she was scared to get on the bus or something. I'm scared and I'm not even on the bus. Oh my God. What? What? He just switched seats. I don't blame him. Away from her bad breath. Oh, snap. He just came out of head though. He said the teacher got bad, bad breath. Why? Oh my God! He has a gun. Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't know too many PE teachers got guns on them. Like that's a little strange. Like why does a PE teacher have a gun on them? What kind of school is this? Oh my God! Call the nine one one. Nine one one. No, it's okay. He is police. He's police. Question mark. He saw. He saw me see his gun. Ah, okay. 
and show me his badge. Get off that bus. Yeah, something just kind of sounds sketchy. He could be lying to you. Something just doesn't add up. He is an FBI agent. Mmm, sounds a little shady. Says, shh. On bus to protect kids. I, ho I would hope so. How do you know he's the real police? Right, exactly. Not police, FBI. Like agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He said he's undercover to prevent kidnappings. I don't know, man. Ask why they haven't found the missing kids, exactly. Yeah, ask him. How, ask him how they haven't found the tunnel. Eh. Ask him, yes, they need, she need to be asking him something. Yeah, ask him, ask him, right. They all tell him the same thing, ask him. Okay. He said they're still looking. And not to let anyone know he is undercover. Mm -hmm. Too late, we all know, right? <laughs> I told my sister she's here too. Mm -hmm. Tell us when you're past Highland Park. Mm -hmm. Five more blocks and we will be past it. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, bus turned into park. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oh my God, Langley hit Warren in the back of the head. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe Mr. Warren is part of it and she's just protecting the kids. Something isn't right. Or maybe Miss Langley is actually part of the whole operation. Yo, this is getting interesting. For real, for real. Smoke coming in. Uh-oh. 911. Call 911. Yeah. This is getting interesting. Kate. Sad face. Breathe through bus sick hole. Smoke everywhere. They have mask on. Mr. Warren is dead. Oh my God. She she murked the dude. Langley is on their side. Pretending I'm dead. On the floor. I'm confused on who who's doing what. Sad crying face. It's really dark. Tunnel going downhill. My hands are shaking. I call police. Stay pretend dead. Keep breathing through the air hole, Caitlin. Are you there? Please answer. So scared. I don't know whose side is on who, who's on whose side. I don't want to die. You need to escape. Should she try to get the gun? Turn that volume down phone so he doesn't hear your phone ping. Did it. Bus slow. Door opening. They left. Oh man. Dizzy. She better get out of there. Why she still got a chance. Get Warren's gun, right. If he's dead, grab a gun and protect yourself. That's what she need to be doing. Oh my God, what? Tail. Mr. Warren isn't dead. Okay, he isn't dead. He said to get back of the bus and text you. So it looks like Miss Langley is in on the operation and Mr. Warren is actually helping the kids out. This is crazy. That makes a lot more sense if Miss Langley set this whole operation up. I don't see it being any other way because it would have to be a teacher because they know their whereabouts and the information in order to get away with doing something like this. He wants them to see me and come back in. Mr. Warren pretend to be dead and jump them when they come to get me. Oh my God. So scary. I'm standing on the back of this back seat. Can you see missing kids? No, all the buses are empty. Oh man. Wait, I see something. Three buses are full with kids. Mr. Warren is up, figuring out what to do. He just broke the door with crutch. We got out, okay? They got out, guys. But he made me hide under the bus. 
he's fighting them. Okay, so Mr. Warren is protecting these kids. Winning, okay, take that W, come on. Something's gotta give. He knocked out the driver and is freeing the kids. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. No, they hit him, uh-oh, they fighting back. He's not moving, might be dead, oh snap. So scared. They see me. Uh-oh. No. Crying. Run. Caught put on bus with missing kids. Oh my God, are they alive? Mr. Warren here tied up. Chloe, Jamie, Al Allison, Eddie, all of them there. Oh snap, what is that? What is that picture of? Photo of driver, oh my God, they got a photo of the driver. Three buses are ahead of us. We are the last bus. They're going down here into another tunnel, very steep. Oh my God. What the f- Oh snap. Wow guys, God, they gotta make a part four. They got to make a part four because I, I gotta know what's gonna happen in the end. And this one was real action packed. That's what I liked about this one the most. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'ma talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.